All right, y'all, man. So before this video even starts, man, I just want to say go follow me on Twitch, man. I be up there damn near every freaking day, man. I feel like they a little more lenient than YouTube. You know what I mean? But you can check me out here at Drew J Official. It's going to be in the middle of the freaking screen, man. Please go check it out, man. We be lit up there. Y'all can chat with me live, man. We got 12 followers over there at this point in time. So hopefully, man, we can get more by the end of the shit. And if I hit 50 followers, I will be doing a giveaway with a PlayStation card and a Xbox card. And it's going to be some money. It ain't going to be like $25. It ain't going to be $30. It's going to be about $50 per card. So please hurry up and go get me the 50 followers, man. I can go ahead and go and get it to y'all guys. You know what I mean? But anyways, man, let's hop right into this video. <sighs> What's good, YouTube, man? What's good, YouTube, man? The reason why I'm even making this video right now, for one, man, I do miss y'all, man. I really do miss y'all, man. It's just YouTube ain't been showing me no love, man. I got um, a video basically kind of like strike, but it was like a strike warning. It was, almost got a strike on my channel. And those of you who don't know what a strike is, if you get three strikes, you're out. They get rid of your channel. They cancel all your videos. Nobody can ever watch your channel type shit. They delete every fucking thing. And I almost got one. For a video I posted a couple years ago, maybe two, three, maybe even fucking four years. I don't even know, bro. I like, damn. Anyways, I posted in the video, hey guys, joke me. I told them to joke me. And I said, if you joke me, I'm going to joke you back. They seen it as hate. And you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I know my jokes get a little, you know what I mean, borderline. But I don't show anybody no type of fucking hate. You know what I mean? And the reason why I've been gone, bro, is because I really just been trying to figure out where the hell am I going? You know what I mean? And every time I try other things, I always find my way right back here. Every time. Every time. Uh, I had a terrible morning. Terrible fucking morning, bro. Terrible morning, bro. I was on my way to... To work at Amazon. I got everything Amazon. I got this Amazon. I got the Amazon shirt. I got my badge. I ain't gonna show y'all my shit. But I got the badge. That's when I had my short hair and shit. They still got my old picture. You know what I'm saying? I got, I, I got the job again at Amazon. And I just had a terrible morning getting here. A terrible morning getting here. The fucking exit to get here was closed. Like everything was convincing me not to come in today. I don't know why. I even woke up an hour earlier. It's still late to fucking work. How the hell does that, how you wake up an hour earlier and still get there late? It's on, like, the, the, the fulfillment center is only 20 minutes away from me, right? I look on the forecast yesterday, won't supposed to be snow. I wake up this morning, nigga, there's ice on my windshield. <laughs> like, bro, it's funny as hell now that I'm saying that shit. But when that shit was, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna be fucking late. Like, bro, I just... I, you know how annoying that is? And if you don't live in a state with with snow or ice, when that shit is on your windshield, it's on your windshield. Look, I was scraping for a minute, as y'all can tell. And when I drove, this shit finally fucking evaporated. But it was like, I, it was like a big ass sheet. You can't see through that shit. And I'm over here driving while ice on my windshield just to make it here on time. And this is what I'm telling myself. It's like, bro, like, why am I working for somebody else? Real talk, real deal still. Why am I working for somebody else, bro? Why do, like, I hate this shit. I really do. Like, I have a big problem with working for other people. And I don't think I'm better than anybody. No, sir, I'm not. I'm no better than any man. But I know what's better for me, if that makes sense. And I know who, what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I know I'm supposed to be making YouTube videos. I know I'm supposed to be an actor. I know I'm supposed to be entertaining people. I'm supposed, I know I'm supposed to be making videos to help better somebody else's day. It's just, I don't know how to put myself in that situation. And it's so fucking annoying, bro. And then, like, when it comes to, like, this, I love it. I love it. I love doing it. The editing, you know what I'm saying? It, it's cool. Like, I love it, bro. But the reason why I ain't been here is because I'm trying to work this. And people are like, hey, bro, just, just, you know what I'm saying? Just do it after work. And you get burnt out. And that's what happens to me every single time. I, I work my regular job and then get burnt the fuck out. And Amazon hours ain't no regular hour. That's about, you know, I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say it's not regular because a, a lot of people go through it. 
but it's 10 hours. Well, I work, I work like almost 11 hour shifts. You know what I mean? That's 11 hours of my fucking day. And for real, for real, in 12 hours, for real, for real, your day over. For real, a day, for real, for real, is 12 hours. No cap. Who is 24? Is the day, no, nigga. A day, daytime sun out, nigga. It's like 12 hours, bruh. I get home, I'm tired as fuck. I got to eat. By the time I eat, I'm tired. I want to entertain myself. I get about eight hours of sleep, right? I'm working here 11 hours. That's 19 hours of my lifespan. Just so I can come back here is crazy. And I know I sound like a little hoe. I'm over here complaining, but that shit is realistic, bro. And anybody, bro, I ain't saying quit your job, none of that crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do, to, you know what I'm saying, to get it where you want to go. But, man, if you truly know that, like, man, if I can spend more time on this thing and I know I can do it, bro, I say do it, bro. And that's what the hell I'm doing. It's not like a I don't give a fuck attitude. It's like, bro, I'm tired as fuck, bro. I'm tired of myself. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being sick and tired. That's what the preachers say. I don't know if y'all niggas ever went to church and shit. And I'm like trying to make this funny, but bro, like I did ass like, I don't really cry about shit, bro. But I like, when it comes to like somebody playing with my money or like I can't have a place to live, it's hard, bro. And it's not like I'm I'm struggling, struggling. Like I'm paying my bills, you know, this, that, and the third. But that shit get hard, bro, working for somebody else and doing something you hate, bro. And it's, you know, people say push through it, push through it. You can make it, you can make it. Man, it's, at times, bro, I really do feel like you can't make it, bro. And I'm making this video, bro, and I'm kind of being funny about it. But I was I was serious about it. And I'm not, I'm not no different than any other person, bro. I'm not super positive. I'm not. I'm not the kind of person I am. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. I'm not a uh, A-OK -okay all the time kind of person, but I am a type of person that doesn't give up. I always find some type of way to make money or, you know, some type of way to do the things that I have to do in any, in anything, anything. I don't care what anybody fucking say. If I'm in a room and we're doing a job, I'm the hardest worker. I might not be the best at what I do, but I'm the hardest worker in the fucking room. I swear to God, swear to God. I am the hardest worker in the fucking room. May not be the best at the job, but I damn sure is the hardest worker in the room. And I'm willing to understand and I'm willing to learn. Not a lot of people are willing to do that. And I, I, I realize like that is my talent and I got to utilize it. And the only thing that gets me every time on this YouTube thing is that I get burnt out every fucking time. And I, I'm still trying to understand how not to get burnt out and work as much as I work. And I don't know. You know? I spend 19 hours of my lifespan just going to sleep time, come to a job, and working at another job. That's crazy. Real talk, that's crazy. That's crazy. And people are like, you just use the other... Use the other five hours. I had to count on my hand. I ain't gonna hold y'all. My math ain't that good. Use the other five hours to, to do the videos, but I'm losing sleep. And I've done, I've done where, like, back in school, I ain't give a fuck about school. I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, still got my diploma and shit. I've done staying up. I don't really have a point to this video, but maybe God put this in my spirit for somebody else to watch, and maybe I can help somebody else, man. Or maybe this is for myself, because now that I'm talking and sitting here and talking to you guys, I feel a lot better. Way better. When I put it all out on video, I don't have to explain myself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just sit here and listen. And just let me ramble. It ain't like, well, you know, if you did, uh, like, nigga, shut the fuck up. I ain't, fi you know what I mean? Y'all niggas listen. That's why I fuck with you. And that's why a Druidthon is going to happen, man. And I know I look a little swaggy with the hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? The hair done got longer. I done changed up a few things. But listen, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all can do anything in this fucking world. I don't care what anybody says, man. I'm right now trying to figure out what the fuck and how the F. My bad, because YouTube be taking shit down. To get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to figure out how to get there myself. But I want to be the living proof that it is possible. And I don't know how the hell to be the living proof yet. But boy, when I do, just know that I told y'all niggas so. I told you so.
And when I do it, I'm going to bring y'all niggas with me. You know what I mean? You want to be rich? We can be rich together. You know what I mean? Hey, you know what? I want to bless a family member with $10,000 just for no reason. Like, I have so many goals. Like, bro, like, I I, I want to I want to own, I don't, not a foundation. I don't know how to, I don't know what the proper terminology is for this, but I want to make something where, like, homeless people can come to and it's kind of like an apartment, right? But it's for free. And you give them a key and you give them a job. They work that job. And once they're on their feet, they give you the key back. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a homeless apartment complex, but it's nice. And it can help out families heavily. Like, I want to do something like that. It's the weirdest shit ever. I don't think it's ever been done before. I don't know why I'm just giving my idea out online. But either way, I said it first. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody ever drops some shit like that, or if they do got some shit like that, I don't know. But if anybody ever drops some shit like that, just know that I said it first. Just know I said it first. Look at the date. And I want to help kids just like me. I want to put kids in situations like me, kids. See, well, I ain't a kid no more, nigga. I'm 20. I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old. Honestly, that's young. I got a lot of life to live. Like, real talk. Real talk. The average billionaire is like 40 years old, right? What I got over them is time. You feel what I'm saying? I could be a millionaire by next week. I can start shaking my ass on TikTok. You know what I mean? I'm just talking to circles right now, man, because I just need... I just... I needed something to talk to without it looking at me weird or giving me... Like, you ever go to somebody and they just don't give you... It's not that you know... They don't tell you what you want to hear, but it ain't what you want to hear. I love this. I really do. And I've been doing it for six years now. We had our anniversary February... 14th, you know what I mean? It's on Valentine's Day. The reason why I made my channel on Valentine's Day was because I was a fucking loner. I ain't had nobody. And when I turned the camera on, I, I found that this was like, it was fun. And I did it throughout the years. I'm like, bro, this shit is hard, bro. Like, when I hit 20K on that PB Cocaine video, I remember it like it was fucking yesterday, bro. Or maybe not 20K. I think it was like 16. I'm getting ahead of myself there. It was like 16K. I was fucking hype. Like, nobody could tell me shit, bro. I swear to God. You know, and then after that, I just had straight duds. Duds. Dud, like, my vi duds. And then YouTube keep changing the regulations for you to make money on the platform. And it's very discouraging, man. It's a very easy platform to give up on. But I'm not giving up, necessarily. But I did take time for myself, and I... I don't, I'm not even a big enough YouTuber to really take time for myself, but I need it mentally, bro. I'm over here giving other people 19 hours of my life for no reason. And it shouldn't be that way. I'm supposed to be in work right now, but I to, niggas need to talk. I need to talk, bro. Whatever you want to do in life, man, just do it. Um, tell my family members that I don't hit up every day. If you're watching this video, just know that... It's nothing against y'all. Like, I have literally no time. Like, and I, I, re I realize that working for other people, like, this much, like, I don't even be using my phone like that. Like, I don't. It's crazy. Like, I I remember how att so attached I was to my phone, but I work so much, I don't even use my phone. Man, I haven't seen my daughter Bro, and it fucking sucks, bro. Like, niggas don't understand. It's like, bro, I don't even have the money to do that because I got to pay bills. I got to do this. I got to do that. Man, I miss my daughter so fucking much, man. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people really don't know that, man. I really do. Like, I want to see her physically. FaceTime ain't enough. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I might fuck around and drive to L.A., nigga. And just say, fuck it, nigga. Start a new life in the car in L.A., nigga. Nah. <laughs> hey, that shit sound good, man. But uh, like I said, let me end this fucking video. I keep talking. I love y'all, bro. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man. It's been your boy, Chuchin, man. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay happy.